You done lost your damn mind. And when you get your damn mind, you call me. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know who this be, it's your girl Color B coming out with a new video. So today we're going to be watching Euphoria Season 2, Episode 3. So let's get right into this video. When Cal was a senior in high school. Ooh. Morning, Dingleberry. Why? Why do we do this? Yeah, well, put your bra and panties on. Okay. Mm. I'll be there in time. He spent every day with his best friend, Derek. Oh, very close. That comfortable. Are you serious? Marsha. I keep putting that. If he crashed, if he crashed, that's on you. Marsha. What do you do? I'm going to say, I mean, it just feels like we understand a little bit but I just feel like two separate characters because I'm like how is this like the present day cow like what made him do that type of stuff like we understand but like what made you do that type of stuff take another one three so that's why you stayed Two, in that three. same town Cause he's supposed to go to Duke, right? So yeah. he didn't- Cal's backstory was like 15 minutes long and I'm like, how did it move the plot? Okay, cause a lot of backstories move the plot, but this one didn't move anything. So we'll just have to wait and see. Yeah, Gia looking at you like, what are you doing? What are you doing, Rue? Rue? Are you high? Was she there the whole time or did she just walk in? I mean, <laughs> who is a menace? Marshall okay. Has the responsibility to make good decisions, but I relapsed. Ah! You little fourth Four. element thing. Fourth wall things be so funny though. And if not in reality, then in television. Unfortunately, I'm not it. Just yeah, Ruth. I mean, she get tired of you. Really. What are you doing? Yeah, Ru and Gia got your tea. No, what you she's lying. Do is she's being an actress situation. right now. Make them feel like any valid concern is just their anxiety. Getting the best of them. Step two. Gaslight. She said, you don't care about you, you don't care about me, you don't care hmm. about your mother. Oh, gaslighting. Girl boss. I mean, they keep I just smoked a little bit of weed. Wait, what? Yeah, that's what you get. Do you want to fuck her? What is no, this? The questions are like fucking hypocritical, you know? And I genuinely do like Rue. Like, oh Rue my gosh, he's a menace like, too. Like, like what is this? <laughs> he's a gang me. Okay. Leo. Yeah, I want to be friends. Your OCD. And cut it! The Lexi thing in her life is so director and creator of This Is Life. Oh my gosh. Cassie decided to wake up at 4 a.m. that morning to get ready for school. Oh, she's so pathetic. Please, please. You get up 4 a.m., get ready for three hours just to think about me. Not you dressing like Maddie. And he finally rec- Oh, wow. You dressed like Maddie once, and he finally recognized you. Oh, when Maddie's the it girl, okay. Okay. Because what is this? Wait, who, why what is are this? Why are they? 
All you would have to do is front me like five thousand dollars worth of drugs, okay? Why and would he ever front no. you five thousand dollars worth of drugs? Right? Worth of drugs no, like, fuck, no. Okay, why do you keep saying that? I did not like the way that the plan started. Okay, well you have to let me finish the fucking plan. No. Yes. Hell <laughs> the fuck no, Rue. Me, <laughs> you begging him to front you five thousand dollars worth of drugs? Cause you're broke. Hey, Rue. Hey, Cash. Ruru? Are you the play? Okay, fine. last episode was Jules and Maddie. No, now today is yeah. Cassie and You realize? Ruru. Uh, I've just, no, nah, I've just been smoking a little bit of weed. Wait, I don't understand. If you're not auditioning for Oklahoma, then why do you look like that? Why is she oh, just like? like, like and then, wait, 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 he's in wait, Kansas or you something. You better be joking. Are you okay, Cass? No! Yes! Fuck it! I am in love with Nate Jacobs and he is in love with me! And you know you fucking give me that look, Maddie, because I didn't have fuck your boyfriend. You two were broken up for three weeks and three days before we even had sex, so I didn't betray you! Plus, you guys are terrible for each other, and you know I'm right, and you guys can all judge me if you want, but I do not care. I have never, ever been happier! Three weeks and three days. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but she didn't say that. Yeah, she knew better not to say that. You know, Maddie would fling her across the street. Who yearns for you and, and can't wait to see you, who who you're not gonna fight with and just just gonna love you like not this projection really though like you. girl you over here with yeah. nate and then you're trying uh, to give her advice dude, I love that in your secret. she's not even down bad she's she's <laughs> like at that. the floor she's at the base level because what is this what is this hi i'm rue um good to see you uh I would love to present you with a, a business opportunity. <laughs> now she's trying to be a drug dealer? Okay. It's a foolproof system to sell, you know, <laughs> without anyone snitching. Um, uh, terrific. Rue, if you screw me, I'll have you kidnapped and sold to some real sick people. Yeah, I always you find scared. a way to make my money back. I'm serious. Okay. <laughs> it's her dragging the suitcase. <laughs> Cause like, what are you doing, girl? What are you doing? Are you all here to audition? Yeah. They're all here to audition. You're here from Oklahoma. Right, yeah, that's, that's what I thought. First you come to my fucking job. Asking all these weird ass questions like the yeah, fuck. Ashtray got the gun and right I find there. You in front of my house. What the fuck are you doing, man? You're free to call the cops. Fucking bitch. Oh, okay, tough guy. Oh, ow. Fuck. Ashtray, because you're in no position to talk shit. I'm warning you. You hit me one more time. Chief of Police, Will Greenwood. Mm -hmm. oh. right, no nope. enthusiasm out, at all to stop him. He's like, whatever. Watch. Pull out the O. Oh. Call the yeah, cops. Call the cops. I will. Die, old bitch. <laughs> oh, snap. You get beat up by like a 12, 13 year old. And you're like in your 40s. Bro. No, stop and call the cops. Nah, Ashtray stay ready for Fez. Oh. Alright, man, I get it. Who, Jewel? Not Jewel. <laughs> it's Jewel. What's, who's Jewel? What no. the fuck, man? Like, Do I know Jewel? Jewel. Who the fuck are you talking <laughs> about right now, bro? Confused. I'm fucking confused. My best so bro. real. <laughs> Me too. All he did was just gave Nate here. a beat down. He don't got you nothing to do with that thing. tape or anything. He should ask Maddie. I'm not say a word about anything. I swear to God. Like he don't know what you talking no, about. Yo, Ash, mm -hmm. let me talk to you real quick. Get out, man. I'm gonna let you walk up out of here on one condition. Anything. And Ashtray are so real, bro. This is the funniest life. part of the and episode. And jewels. Till the end like of fucking what? time, you understand? <laughs> I, I don't know shit about no fucking disc, man. That's not my problem. 
Oh, he just admitted he got a crush on Rue. So, Rue. The $64,000 question is... Yeah, what's, what's in, in the suitcase, suitcase Rue? School books. Uh, is that why you're in that getup? You became an honor student. Mm. I'm not in the mood for a lecture. A lecture? I like to think we have conversations. Yeah, I'll talk about it, man. Oh, good, good, good. Excuse me? Shut the fuck up. Don't play that shit with me. <laughs> I've always accepted you for who you are. The good, the bad, and the ugly. Tell me, shut the fuck up. I'm not some parent you can just treat like shit. Yeah, well, no. good thing nobody's really looking to be a fucking parent. No. Excuse me? Oh. Excuse me? <laughs> when I sit across mm. from you and tell you something about my life, you didn't get to use that shit against me. You cross that line again, mm. we're done. You talk back right now, we're done. One more fucking disrespectful word out of your mouth and we're done. You hear me? Oh, snap. Hey, you hear me? Oh, what, Ali? You gonna hear me? Oh, yeah, he done. He done. Rue, like, come on now. Like, why would you... Yo... Yeah, he done. Yeah, he ain't messing with you anymore. You done gaslit Gia. You're disrespectful to Ali. You're lying to Jules. Your mom don't even... I mean, I know her mom be working, but... Her mom don't be noticing anything, bro. Like... You got a drug addict daughter, and your drug addict daughter's bringing home a black suitcase you never know. And, and you don't ask, like, what's in the suitcase? Yeah. Oh, she's doing really good. <laughs> she's doing really good. Mm, she going down a down spiral. And Lexi's standing at the corner. Waiting for Nate. Like, how sad can you be? <laughs> Not you using the drugs that you're supposed to sell. Like, come on, girl. You don't got not one dime to, uh, you know, get that money back. So. You got 10k worth of drugs, <laughs> and you got nothing, and you you using them. Oh, oh wow. Oh wow. Oh wow. So you're telling me Nate stood up Cassie to go bring Maddie flowers at her door. Oh. You know Maddie's the it girl, okay? Cause you standing at the corner for Nate. And he just stood you up and was like, yeah, something came up. To give Maddie some flowers. Oh. But the thing is, I mean, even though he might have a, he probably has an ulterior motive, this just looks really sad for Cassie because it's, like I said, she is on the baseboard for, like, uh, I don't know how, if she can go any lower, but each episode she's getting lower and lower and lower, okay? But he's definitely just probably trying to get the tape back from Maddie, so... Okay, so that was the Euphoria episode 3 of season 2. Um, Rue just basically burnt the bridge of Ali. I mean, I don't know how she's going to mend that bridge. But my thoughts is that, you know, before she can get into her head, well, with the drug dealer lady, if she don't earn that money back, to get to the drug dealer lady, she gonna end up in trouble. Like, mm, I don't know if Fez can help you out of that one. Then somebody might have overdosed in this season. She might have to witness a death before she can 
you know, get back in her right mind because and then you lying to you're gaslighting Gia. You don't use drugs. You're basically gonna end your life. Which is like, okay. And then Ollie, the only person that you can really talk to about different things, you done throw something back in his face. And then your mom, she's gonna be all bent out of shape because your mom thinking you want a, a you know, good pack path to recovery and you over here lying like uh, yo rue just a messy 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 person like rue had we little down bad we're gonna get we're probably getting even down bad <laughs> next week's episode because that preview mm. but anyway guys if you like the video like the video comment down below let me know your thoughts comments concerns and if you haven't subscribed to my channel subscribe Anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. Peace.